<clears throat> we hardly know how hard it was for him. We couldn't um, understand everything. This was all so new to us. Uh, divorce in our um, in our culture wasn't exactly allowed, but we supported John 100%. We know how how uh, how he loved his children. He would go to the ends of the earth to be with his children. He um, he wrote those love notes, and we saw in there how hard it was. What are you doing? What are you doing, Zane? You do miss that dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know you did. I think I Gretchen to missed it. Watch a show. Maybe you can watch something on my phone as soon as I send this email. And Gretchen wants to too. Biggest I smile. Make your biggest smile. How about a hug? I need a hug. Gretchen really wants to watch. March 9th, Friday Eve. Zane, today is one day closer to me seeing you and being together again. I want to smell your hair and give you a great big hug again. I love you so much. I have been talking to you as if you were right here next to me. I know you hear me. Here's your birthday gift that came back to me. There's a letters, letters and card in there. Can I play? Yeah, I think I made one for you, one for Zane and one for you. Zane, only open the ones that are for you. Yes, I think you're right. Is it a um, another popsicle? Yeah, it was a heart because I love you. And it was close to Valentine's Day last year. I was one of these. I sent it to you, but it got sent back to me. Pictures. Pictures. Zane, is that one for you? Zane, is this for him? That's for Zane. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually from Grandma, oh, I think. This is a shark. All right, yeah. Told you there was gifts here. Oh, that that's looks all cool. We get. I think you might be right. From Grandma Mast. She knows just what you like. Wow, more dress up doll okay. stuff. Yeah. Hey Zane, let's not open the candy yet. March 3rd, 2018, Friday evening. Ashira, how I love you. I remember how you used to jump into my arms every night when I came home from work. I loved that so much. My arms and my heart will forever be open to you for hugs and time together. I miss you, my princess, forever. Ashira, how are you doing? What are you learning in school? Do you go to school? You are so smart and I know you will grow up to be a very smart and wise lady.
Tell them it's discounted to 50 cents half price. It's discounted to 50 cents! Okay, that's enough. <laughs> February 28, 2018. Zane, I remember tucking you into bed and watching shows on my phone with you. Remember how we used to watch the Indian Amazing Grace song? I love you forever. I know, do you remember that? This is beyond you. <laughs> the buddy. Oh, this is him now. Are you happy? This is um him feeling. This is me Bailey saying what Bobby Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Did I have Bobby Clinton? I found yeah. speeding. Barbie cars. So tell me something exciting that March 9th, 2018, Friday Eve. Ashira, my pride and joy, I love you so much more than words can ever say. I have been talking to you and Zane just like you are here with me. I love you so much. Can't wait till the time when I can smell your hair and hold you close. I love you, Daddy. What are you doing? Yes, Dad. <laughs> You're eating yes. that? <laughs> February 25th, 2018. Ashira, I love you so much. We will be together again soon. February 28th, 2018. Ashai, remember how I used to always tuck you into bed and you listen to your favorite Disney songs? I love you forever. March 1st, 2018, lunchtime. I come home for lunch today and I missed my little princess jumping into my arms. I cried. Love, Daddy. Struggling through it, are you getting to see your kids at all? So I have a court order saying that I need to, that I have unlimited access to them through Zoom, uh, video, telephone, <laughs> but she, and it's six months and she has not allowed it. And we had some other court events and this was, this order is from uh, coronavirus. So the in-person visits, she's exploited that, the coronavirus to no extent, to a pretty hefty uh, extent there. Um, so no, I haven't gotten to see my kids in two and a half months. I did see them some over the summer. I think there's a final order coming up where things will get better. Sharon Zane, 
we, your grandmother and grandfather, I, I'm speaking for her too, uh, masked, we love you with all of our heart. And I want to really tell you how much your daddy loved you. He loved you so much. He, he was so hurt and lonesome for you. It, it, that's what killed him. It, he was so lonesome. He, like he t said in the letters, I'm fighting for you. He wanted so much to hold you, to hug you, to kiss you, to play with you, to love you. And, and he was denied that. It was, it was an un, unending love. He uh, loved you guys 24 hours a day, always fought for you guys, um, always, always trying to do what was best for you guys. Are you all my personal dream? Bashar, Zane, your daddy loved you so much. He fought so hard, as you will see one day in his journals, his love notes to you. He did not do, he did not do what he was accused of doing. He is that daddy that you remember when you were a wee little kid when you were three, when you were four, five, six, before that memory was erased. And I just, I just want to bring that memory to your forefront. That memory was true. That was your daddy. What happened to, this, to hurt you were all lies. John, my brother John was a good man. He was a good man. And Ashara Zane, your daddy loved you more than anything in the world. And he gave his life for you guys. He knew that this could happen, but he did not quit fighting for you. He loved you that much. John, I love you. We're going to take care of your kids and we're going to do what we can to make sure no other family has to go through this. No other children have to experience this. The love that he had for his children, kind of like um, his therapist said that um, he was not a bitter man. He was filled with love and that's the way I knew him. Well, brother, I appreciate it, man. I'm, uh, I'm going to get a couple more of these together. I'll edit it and have it up tomorrow. And, you know, good thing about stuff like this, even though I didn't say your full name, you didn't say your kid's name, you can always show this to your kids. You know, that's... I Absolutely. have to... So I'm Betty, uh, John's sister, and um, I was here here to be with him when we got word that um, he gets to pick up his children for the first time that evening, unsupervised, 
um, for parenting time. It was supposed to start at six o'clock on Friday night. So I came down, got here about 10 till six, and um, at like 5.54, I saw that she must be here because I recognize the Suburban. And I was coming down from up there from my brother's vehicle, my other brother, and um, running down to meet John and ask him, you know, where he wants me to be to record this, um, just for evidence. And he said, just from a distance a little bit, that he doesn't want, want them to see me. And so, but before I even got a chance to, to go somewhere else, um, I was standing right here by the van and John was beside me and uh, Jim walks around the front of the van and starts shooting. Says hi John and starts shooting. The best I could remember was two shots and a pause and another shot. And I held his hand and I said, John, fight. The Shire and Zayn need you. Stay with us, fight. Uh, called my mom, stepped aside, called my mom and, and told them what happened in like two seconds, three seconds. Um, and held the phone to him and while well, she said, I love you, and he heard it. Six, 2018. My sweetest boy Zane, how we love each other. I know you feel the same when we miss each other. You always wanted to be strong, like me, your daddy. When you listen to our song, remember we are powerful. When you clung to me in the dark, last time you were taken from me. The times you called out daddy, daddy, will never be taken from our memory. I miss you every minute along with your sister. Every moment spent together is forever cherished. You are my little mister. I love those moments when it was just us. You are my strong boy. Nothing can separate. Love between father and son, even when it feels late. March 6, 2018. My sweet girl, Ashira, when I first saw you, I was in love with you. There's only one like you. I will never forget your first steps. I was there, holding your hands. You can never be taken away, no matter the faraway lands. Your daddy is always near, even though you may be far away now. 
everything we love and hold dear will soon be more than memories. You will jump into my arms. I will smell your hair in my cheeks, your brother, tugging on my arm. The Lord protect you from harm. We always promised each other to always look and find. When we can't find another, we are both searching in a bind. I remember how you loved unicorns and fairy tales, even though not all fairy tales are true. This tale will forever be true. Your daddy loves you and will always fight for you, my princess. <laughs>